running We've been running towards the brighter days With our eyes wide open Dreaming We've been dreaming while we're still awake The only way is up for us to go We'll never leave the ground if we don't let go This is our time. This is our time. This is our time. This is our time. to the destination you know training hard today 5 a.m woken up now it's around 7 and i think the boy is here so i'm gonna fuck with him real quick like always so look at this little fool he doesn't even notice me look at this ugly ass nigga Look at him, looking like an ape chimpanzee looking ass. <laughs> the young Mowgli looking ass. <laughs> look at him, look at him. I was there for like five minutes and he didn't even notice me. <laughs> Man, I wasn't even supposed to come today, but. How does he feel? I had to drop off my sis. What? <laughs> a little Mowgli looking ass. What up guys, I just finished practice. It was a good day today. High intensity chest day, just like uh, last time. So, you know, chest day is always gonna be on Monday. You know how it is. But uh, yeah, guys, in a rush right now. I actually have a test today and I gotta make it to school in 40 minutes. I still gotta go home, take a shower and eat. But, you know, uh, always gotta eat after a workout. So I'm gonna rush home and get my meal in. Uh, I gotta eat uh, 50 grams of protein and uh, around 74 grams of the jasmine and rice, which is 74 grams of carbs, guys. But kind of in a speed mode, but just wanted to keep you guys tuned in. And today also I pose, so um, he's saying I'm looking good, guys. I'm 11 weeks out, and I'm looking pretty shredded now, now, and I think I'm way ahead of the game. So what that's gonna put me is in, you know, a uh, higher chance for winning guys you know I, I know a lot of people say I'm competing with my last physique you know that's true but I'm going to win because I'm a very competitive man and if I don't win it's gonna be all my fault it's gonna uh, the blames on me because this is an individual sport guys but the great thing about this sport is you get what you put in if I didn't win it was because of my myself not working hard enough and if I do win is because I gave it all I had and you know and I put the right work in so Right now, I gotta head home, eat, head to school, take this dumb test for chemistry. Fucking chemistry, fuck chemistry, you know what I'm saying? But, um, you know, that's what I gotta do right now, heading home. But he says I'm looking good right now, guys. I'm 202 at 511, and I'm 11 weeks out, and I got my upper abs looking good. So, excited for things to come, man. I'm excited that I finally got my uh, physique checked in with coach, and we'll see uh, from here, guys. Alrighty guys, just got home from school. Honestly, I was pretty late to that test, but I think I did alright. I definitely at least got a C on that test. But dang, I was late as hell and I didn't even have my calculator. I took the wrong backpack because right after practice I thought I was going to go home. But I just ate something real quick and I zoomed over to school because I didn't want to be super late because he wouldn't have gave me the test. But I think I did pretty good today and then I came home, I took a little nap because it's very important to get your rest. If you don't get your full eight hours, at least try to take a little bit of naps during the day when you can and if you have time, just so that you make sure you're giving your muscles the appropriate amount of rest because you grow when you're sleeping, guys. And you grow best when you're in REM sleep. REM sleep is when your body completely shuts down and allows everything to basically repair itself. Therefore, building muscle and you'll grow. And that's what you want, guys. So. Make sure you gain enough rest. I know a lot of us don't, but let's try to make it a little bit of a priority because it is one. And then right here, guys, I'm cooking a whole mess of chicken because I can't go hungry while I'm at work. So 
yeah guys i went to school took a nap now i have to go to work so mondays are jam-packed day um i have no time for myself i go to practice in the morning in pomona i drive back to glendale i come back to burbank and then i go back to uh glendale for work and then uh i eat and then i gotta go back to universal city for the gym guys so i'm driving everywhere and i have to make sure that i'm getting my meals in this is going to be about 16 ounces so i'm going to eat eight ounces now and then eat eight ounces at like midway through work and that's about it right now guys i'm going to make sure i eat this with some rice probably 36 grams of carbs for each and 50 grams of protein total for each meal as well guys guys how can i forget i forgot to show you guys what i'm wearing on the feet today before I go to work, I gotta show you guys that I'm wearing these precious babies right here. They're one of my favorite shoes right now. These are Ultra Boost, like I told you, my favorite shoe. But these are uncaged, guys. So what that means is they don't have the cage on the sides like the normal ones do. They actually don't sell this one anymore, like, in retail. You can get them on resale from other shoe, uh, shoe stores. But the resale for these are, like, either... I think 250 plus 300 depending on size and I got this for retail for I think 180 so yeah guys gotta show you the sneak game sneakerheads gotta show you, show show you guys, from work I went straight to the gym uh, as I told you before my main uh, workout is with my coach in the mornings at 7 a.m. but I always get a second workout because I got to go for cardio anyways so I just work on the small stuff just to get more of a pump as you can see uh, for my first exercise, I am doing the conventional cable fly. I have a very sturdy base, one knee forward, just so I can get more weight in. And as you can tell, I'm going nice and slowly uh, from the top to the bottom, just to make sure I feel the contraction with each movement, guys. And the sets I did for every single movement was, like usual, light, medium, medium, heavy, and then a drop set. I really do recommend that that uh set and rep ranges guys for the uh, second one i did was a different variation of the fly i went from bottom to top focusing more on the lower part of the chest but as you can see i'm going kind of in a half circle motion that way i could work a little bit of the upper and a little bit of the side as well so in the end of the day you're going to work every single part of your chest with this exercise right here guys Again, a sturdy base going nice and slow to feel the contraction. I really do recommend working your chest in different angles, guys. You just don't want to do the bench and then, uh, I don't know, like a couple flies on the incline or something, guys. Make sure with every single muscle, you're hitting it from every single angle. That's what's going to give you a better physique and, you know, get you ahead of the game than everybody else. And again, guys, same, same sets and rep ranges for this one as well. And then for the next one, guys, I did was the hammer strength um, fly. So this is another great variation. I really do enjoy it because on this one, I'm as you can see, I'm standing. I get more of a sturdier base with this as well. And I could really feel more of a contraction just because, you know, it's a machine and that's what the machines do. And that's the advantage of machines. So with this one, as you can see, I'm holding the handles on the outside just so I can get a further stretch. And I'm, again, going nice and slow to feel the contraction again. Definitely one of my favorite exercises, guys. Do try this one. And then lastly, just to kill the chest, I finished with 100 reps of push-ups. Just till failure, guys. And try this out at the end of your chest workouts. It's going to really kill you. Um, and that was my chest workout guys. I hope you really enjoyed this one basically just different uh, fly variations and a drop set So hope you enjoyed. Thank you What up guys made it home from the gym after this long long day I could finally come home and eat my last meal <sighs> Man, I live in this kitchen guys. I'm pretty tired today. Um, I showed you uh, my workout of the day as you can tell, it was just very short, just to try to get a quick pump in the chest. Um, so I just did a kind of a fly routine, just all different variations of the flies. But you hear more in the commentary, as I said before, the type of flies, what specific exercises, and how many reps I did for each um, each specific workout. But right now, guys, I'm going to eat this right here, which is going to be 50 grams of protein. And then I'm going to top that off with some rice. 
already cooked and then tapatillo because we're out of sriracha and red hot sauce that's my number three one sriracha two red hot but yeah guys that's how i'm gonna end my night i hope you enjoyed this video let me know what you guys want to see more of um i'm super pumped things are going really well i'm losing weight really uh fast and I'm keeping my muscle mass, which is amazing because of the carb cycling like I showed you guys last time. Um, soon I will show you guys a physique update. I just wanted to make that video like, you know, something you could learn off of. I'll talk about specific measurements again and how my body's looking from here on out. So thank you guys for watching again. Thank you guys for tuning in. And please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And this is your boy Martin Barbosa signing off. Till next time, guys. Peace.